This video is rated 18, suitable only for persons of 18 and over. Hello YouTube, LJ Draco here. Yes, it's been a while. I'm sorry. Uh, quarantine's still happening for everybody. There's been some really bad, good and depressing days recently. So it's been a while since I've done anything. Um, I'm happy to be doing something now. I hope it continues to be this way. There was going to be some things that were going to happen. And by the looks of uh, some things, it may not. So let's just hope that that sticks. Uh, Ricio. As you can see, there's another uh, Blu-ray shelf. I've I've slacked so much on these. Phew. Who's ready for another video? <laughs> um, yeah. So no, I just want to explain something quickly. I'm not going to go into details on what or who or why or when or where, but uh, for people who are still showing negativity, not just around YouTube, but in general with people talking about things that they shouldn't, bringing up stuff that has no relevance to what they're doing. Um, I feel sorry for you. I feel really sorry for you. Because with all the dark times that's happening and all the bad that's going on in the world, you, you want to contribute to that evil. And frankly... Calm as a bitch. So, if people want to, you know, still be a part of that kind of evil and negativity, it's only going to come round and bite them twice as hard in the ass. And I'm not going to be here accepting apologies or helping anybody who decides to stay on that path because, quite frankly, you don't deserve it. <laughs> so, for all the good people out there, you all know who you are, you know, just stay true to who you are because you're all who and what this world needs right now. Hope you're all staying safe and keeping well and um, let's get on with the video, shall we? Because otherwise I'll be here all day. Right, so, another shelf. Oh, actually... Speaking of which, I've got a couple of things to show and something else to talk about. Very, very quickly. I promise it won't get boring. Um, two actual arrivals today. Um, the only reason I'm showing these now is because these should have been in previous letters. But these, these took a bit of time to get here. Uh, they took a bit extra than they were supposed to. So, go in alphabetical order. Last Action Hero. This was much cheaper to get from the US free shipped then um, it is to get the UK one either free shipped or with shipping. So, and it's a Mill Creek, and I love Mill Creek. They do some great, great Blu-rays, like, for example, my Ernest movies and my lovely Quantum Leap box set. Um, so, yeah, last action, I love this movie, and I'm happy to find Ernest. And, uh, uh, yet again, one of my favourite comedies as a kid growing up in the 90s. Uh, this came out in... When? When did this... 95. I was two years old. I was two. Uh, Major Payne. You got. You got to love Damon Wayans. Uh, you got to love the Wayans brothers in general. They. They are h hilarious people. Hilarious. I love everything they're practically in. So there's that. Now, also, if you guys may remember, I showed uh, this guy in a video before. It's just a Civil War Black Panther figure. Well, I complain about him all the time because his articulation isn't that great and I this is my least favorite version of Black Panther. Like I look 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 at that helmet. Like if you can see it if I can get it to like focus. No, I ain't going to get it to focus. But that now I've got an upgrade of a figure. I'm still keeping this cuz I've got some plans. But I've got an upgrade to this Black Panther 2018 Vibranium Suit movie uh, figure, and it's freaking amazing. Articulation's better, and look at the helmet. So, 
anyone who wants to see a video on this guy and on this guy and if uh, if you just felt like it on the uh, Killmonger figure too, I will gladly do one of those in the future. Plus, I actually do have some other figures arriving if you want to see those as well. And I, I, to be honest, I look so forward if I ever freaking get them at this point. There's three figures I'm hoping to get in the next couple of weeks and all three of them look and amazing now these are gaming figures more than movie figures but they are so detailed it's incredible so back to the video at hand <laughs> right reboot of robocop now i do not like this movie at all um i hate the suit i hate the ed 209s the only thing I did enjoy about this movie, the, the only thing that makes this movie worth watching, is when he's on his bike. Because the original trilogy, he drove a car, which... I don't know, for some reason I didn't like him in the car. I never liked him in the car, even way before this came out. I was always thinking, like, eh, Robo he shouldn't be in a car. Like, surely. Plus, his armor weighs a lot more than... There's no way a car would be able to drive as fast as it does with him sitting in it. Surely the wheels would have burst. I mean, the fucker's made out of titanium. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I, I, I like the, the motorcycle scenes in this, but the film itself... It's an okay watch, it's just not great. Another movie from my childhood. I absolutely love this movie, and it is uh, Robots, yet again. Voice acting with... Ro uh, 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 Voice acting with Robin Williams, um, still such an amazing guy, such a talent taken way too soon. Um, and uh, Ewan McGregor, Mel Brooks, also makes an appearance in that. So, you know, go love some Mel Brooks. Right, now this is a, I have to rapid fire, oh no, no wait, I'll rapid fire afterwards, this is, right, Rock and Roller, great uh, British movie. I love Toby Kebbell, by the way. He's become one of my favourite actors, like in my top, I'd say 15 or 20 actors. He's right up there with Andy Serkis due to his uh, mocap work. Uh, I love him as Duratan in Warcraft. I love him in this. I love him in uh, Sorcerer's Apprentice, Kong Skull Island, um, Wrath of Titans. Um, I, I, he's a great, great actor. Like, he's better than I thought he was. Rapid Fire. Rocky. Amazing movie. Rocky 2. Great movie. Rocky 3. Okay movie. Rocky 4. Fantastic movie. Rocky 5. Now, was... And I will repeat this. Was my favourite. Don't, don't ask. It was. Until I rewatched the whole franchise and certain things changed. Balboa, my second favourite Rocky movie. And a movie that I have not watched yet, and it is Creed. I do not own Creed 2. I actually managed to pick up Creed from a charity shop for like a pound. So, if I ever come across a Creed 2 the same way, then I will definitely pick it up. Romeo and Juliet. I actually really enjoy this movie. Um, I like the modern take on, on the Romeo and Juliet story. And to be honest, for American actors and actresses... Uh, Shakespeare's old English, like, Leonardo did it just so smoothly, like it was fluent. And for anyone to do that makes me happy. Um, yeah, so I'm glad that they, they didn't really ruin Shakespeare's work. Safe Haven. Scarface. This was actually a gift from my friend Sasha. I fucking love Scarface. It's one of the most amazing gangster, like, gangster kind of... I'd say gangster. Yeah, I'd just say gangster. It's it's incredible. Love it. Um, I wasn't allowed to watch that for many years as a kid. I have no idea why. It's not as bad as other films I was made to watch as a kid. <laughs> School of Rock. Oh, fud oh, I love this movie. I would really love a sequel. Like, just to see how they've all grown up and what's becoming of their lives. Scooby-Doo. Another film from my kind of childhood. Um, a lot better than people give it credit for. A lot better. CGI is terrible, but the, the film itself is pretty good. Secret Life of Walter Mitty. This is amazing. Did not expect this to be as good as it was as well. Yeah. 
Seventh Son. No. <laughs> I, I really didn't like it. Right. At the beginning of this video, you should have seen the whole, uh, this video is uh, 18. You're about to see why. <laughs> Sex in the city. <laughs> now, I do not give a fuck what anyone says. These two movies, I got them both. I, I don't judge them. I've got them both. And I've seen a f quite a few episodes from the series. I don't own the series, but I've seen quite a few. These are freaking amazing movies. These may be chick flicky kind of... These are fun. Fun. And it's got Kim Cattrall in. I'm going to watch anything that woman's in. Why? Because no matter how old she gets, she still looks freaking amazing. So, yeah. I'm, it's going to be done. It's going to be done. Shawshank Redemption, one of the best prison story movies. Sherlock Holmes, one of my favourite Robert Downey Jr. and Jude Law movies. Sherlock Holmes Game of Shadows, better than the first one, and I can't explain this. I did a video about my top 10 favourite movie fights in, uh, years and years ago, and if I can find that video, I'll link it in the description below. But it's honestly got the scene at the end of this in it, and oh, oh, love it. Shutter Island, one of my favourite psychological thriller movies. Leo again, he should have got the Oscar for this and not Revenant. Although Revenant was good. He deserved it for either that Inception or Blood Diamond. Sisters, okay movie. It's not great, but it's, it's, it's up there with some fun. Skyline, in my top 10 favourite alien invasion movies. Why? Because it's awesome. Small Soldiers, another great movie from my childhood. As you guys have seen before, I've got the 12-inch Archer and uh, Chip Hazard. And reason why? Because this is just one of those perfect movies. Like, I, I, I genuinely can't fault it with anything. Acting's good. Um, the lack of CGI is great. You know? A film I haven't seen... Uh, haven't seen. You'll see why I said sneen. A film I haven't seen but was gifted by uh, my friend Sasha, uh, Snitch. My first Marilyn uh, Monroe movie, and I like it. Some like it hot. Uh, fantastic movie. Much better than I thought it was going to be. Source Code. Still never seen this, and I've, I've got like a, a man crush on Jake Gyllenhaal. Spaceballs. I, I will always say this no matter what. This is the definitive Star Wars parody ever like definitive star wars parody and the talent in this movie is freaking phenomenal john candy mel brooks rick moranis uh bill pullman you know you've just got such fine talented actors in this um you just you, you've got oh john hurt by the way john hurt makes an appearance in this so i mean yeah yet again Another movie from my childhood. Space Jam, which we just got told recently that Space Jam 2 is definitely coming out. Yay! No, no. Very, very sarcastic game. You didn't get that. Just get it. <laughs> Um, I've seen this movie once, I, I can't really say much on it, but, um, well, the Blu-ray case, wow, why am I shutting? Oh yeah, I forgot, this is a Blu-ray case that hates me. Speed, it's an okay, uh, it's an okay Keanu Reeves movie. Speed 2, never seen it, I just got it to watch. Spy, a very funny, uh, Melissa McCarthy movie. The first Spy Kids, I actually enjoy this film. Not so much the sequel. Um, it's okay, but that I actually really enjoyed that. Saint Trinity is one and two. I do love a lot of British movies. Not not just because I'm British, by the way. People probably think, oh, it's just because he's. No, it's just. It's we don't really get many British movies, and when we do, uh, not all of them turn out great. So when they when the ones that do turn out great, I appreciate it because it shows that we actually have talent. <laughs> um, Stardust, uh, amazing! I highly recommend this to anybody 
and everybody. Um, yet again, great, great cast in this. Uh, really interesting story. You've also got... Oh, is it Charlie Cox? Uh, Charlie Cox, I think that's his name. Yeah, he plays Daredevil in the uh, Netflix Marvel uh, uh, Universe. Yeah, that's a great film. Stargate the movie. Now, my mom, she's a massive fan of this show, and she got me hooked on the series. And um, I prefer the series to this film, but this film is actually still a good watch, so I, I, I don't mind it. My two favourite original Star Trek kind of... Well, I say original. My favourite original Star Trek movie and my favourite next-gen movie, I should say. Uh, Wrath of Khan and Nemesis. Um, I would have liked to have owned them all at some point, but they're my, like, my two favourites from the original and from Next Gen, so that's why. J.J. Abrams' Star Trek. Now, a lot of people complained about this when this first came out, because they were all like, oh, you know, the beginning didn't happen in the show. J.J. Abrams made it very clear that this is an alternate universe where different things happened. And I love that. I love the fact that he went down that route. He did an alternative universe, and it worked. So, well done, J.J. Right, so yet again, these ones I'm just going to be just swanning through. Um, now, just to explain that for six of these movies, they are custom sleeves, also made by my friend Sasha. I will show you, basically it's the original trilogy and the prequel trilogy that are all custom sleeves. So, episode one, Phantom Menace. Episode two, Attack of the Clones. Episode three, Ranger Sith. Uh, which, to be honest, I mean, I, I grew up on those as well as the originals. The originals are still better, obviously. I'm not going to say the prequels are, because they're not. But I did enjoy them, and they fell down on me. <laughs> but I, I did enjoy them. Like, I, I didn't hate them as much as everyone else did. I still don't. I mean, they're still enjoyable to me. And, and you know, okay, yeah, episode one and two, they have a, an annoying character. But as a kid, I mean, kids appreciated that more than the adults. And that's what it was for. It was just really for the kids. Um... But they're, they're a still enjoyable watch. Then we have uh, Solo, which is much better than people gave it credit for. Much better. Rogue One. This is the closest modern Star Wars to the original trilogy than any other Star Wars movie ever will be. Um, and me and my friend Sasha, we actually did a live stream where we watched the film like together. Like on different screens. And... Um, we spoke about it a bit afterwards. Okay, it may be quite boring the whole time of us watching the film. Yeah, but if you just skip to where the film kind of... We talk more in depth and he actually explains about how he definitely enjoyed it. And how it was so much closer to the original trilogy than the prequels. Um, yes, yeah, so... Star Wars New Hope. Empire Strikes Back. And Return of the Jedi. Uh, Empire still... Is probably the best Star Wars film. Then we got Force Awakens, which I also do have in 3D. I just didn't. Oh, it's in the 3D section. And um, The Last Jedi. I do not own Rise of Skywalker. Reason being, I haven't been asked to pick it up yet. Uh, and just uh, for the last movie on this shelf is Star Wars Clone Wars movie. Um, that's it. That's that shelf. So, anyway, that is the end of this video. I hope you really enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it was a bit long-winded at the beginning. Um, let me know in the comments below, like, if you want to see uh, those, like, figure unboxings or... I mean, because I've, so I've got three. If you want to see unboxings of them, I can do that. If you want to see, like, showcases of them, I can do that. Or if you don't want to see them at all, I can also not show them. Um, but, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you wonderful, wonderful people next time.